Hello, in this video I will show you how to use the rebuild command to resample a curve with the desired points. Let's create a polyline. So I will create a random shape like this. Then I will select it and fill it certain points such as this one this two and let's also fill it uh, all the rest okay now if we select it and then uh, use the show points command we can see that we have uh, many points scattered throughout uh, our curve because i made those fillets let me first uh, duplicate it and uh, i will select uh, this one and extrude we have this result here the rebuild command is used to resample the points on a curve you may use it to add points or to reduce the number of them in uh, the curve you can also use it uh, if you want a smoother curve the rebuild command doesn't have an uh, icon or an hotkey so we must uh, type it manually. You can also, of course, assign it to your shortcut keys, but by default, uh, it uh, doesn't exist. So we select the curve with the show points enabled. Then we press the tab key. So we select uh, this first uh, box on the bottom bar and we type rebuild and press enter. We are now in the rebuild command options where we can choose three modes refit number of points and endpoints the main modes are refit and number of points i never use the endpoints now refit it will add or reduce the number of points based on this tolerance by default is set to 0 0.01 uh, which gives you uh, this uh, nice smooth curve if you increase the tolerance, you will get fewer points. And if you decrease the tolerance, you will get more points. You have also the number of points where you can pick the total amount of points in your curve. Notice that the original curve is the black one underneath the yellow curve. So this yellow curve is your final result. If we increase the point count, we get a result similar to the original one. And of course, if you reduce it, you will get fewer points. Then you have endpoints where you can specify an angle. By default, it's set to 30 degrees. If we increase it to like 90, we can see that the points are added based on the angle. Notice here in the corner, we have a straight corner. If I set it to 90, now we have more or less the original result. Let's use the refit command with a tolerance of, uh, let's say, 0 0.02. You also have delete input objects. If you want to keep your original curve, you must uncheck this box. I have uh, duplicated my original curve here, so I will simply leave it checked and press the done key or right, right mouse button. Hide the points. Let's try extruding it. Pay attention to the rounded areas on our solids. Notice how these areas here are smoother than this one. Because obviously here we have way more points. While here we have fewer points. So we get these fillets and straight edges going on. So this could be a nice option if you are creating a more organic model or uh, you need to resample your curve for whatever use you need. To assign this command to a shortcut, you go to the options menu, shortcut keys, add, press your desired shortcut. I will type a random key like this. For the command, you must write rebuild, then press enter, close. And now if, if we select this curve, then we press the shortcut, we'll have the rebuild command assigned to our shortcut. So we can reduce the number of points like this. 
So that's how you use the rebuild command inside Moai. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, leave a like to support the channel. Subscribe to stay up to date with the latest contents. If you have any questions, comment below. And I'll see you in the next one.